Hello once again, it's Diorama Don here. Uh, before we begin, please click subscribe. Um, you'll be notified when new videos come along. Normally two or three every week. Uh, so please click that subscribe button. Okay, so a few weeks ago I made a video on how I make um, working windows, sash cord windows. Uh, nobody watched it, <laughs> but uh, I thought I'd do another video on, on how I do my windows. I've made a number of um, dioramas now uh, with windows in. Um, I can't easily... Oh, what about uh, this one? I can just about make, reach this one. So I, I've put windows in lots of my dioramas uh, but I've never actually stopped to to show you how how I go about it so I will do that now so we've got a hole where our window is to be um, the best card to use is two millimeter you could use one millimeter but two millimeter is more in keeping with 135 scale uh, two millimeter. That's uh, one third. That's seventy. The equivalent of seventy millimeters, which is what three three inches, which is about about the right uh, right size for a window a window frame. So set that behind the uh, the window hole, and just mark around that. So it doesn't have to be square to the window. Um, once you've got that, then with this with a ruler and, and marking it out, I'm, I'm only doing this <laughs> roughly to show you. Uh, we need um, a frame. So there'll be a frame around the four sides like so. And then you can choose whatever design of window you like. I, for instance, will be doing three sections that way and three sections that way. This will all need to be marked and uh, drawn out uh, much more accurately than that. But that's the design of window that I want. So there are nine very small holes to cut out. And it, with two millimeter, it is quite easy to do that. Even with a thin frame, a thin window frame, it is possible with a sharp knife to cut those windows out. So I'll mark it up properly. That's just a, a, a mock up. So I'll mark it properly and cut those windows out and uh, I'll be back. Okay, so I've cut out, <coughs> cut out those uh, window frames the window frame uh, easy enough really and then with a piece of uh, well any kind of uh, plastic uh, packaging but I, I normally buy a four sheets of clear acetate uh, it's a, a clear plastic that is used for for printing so I uh, just cut a piece of that and that sticks behind there with PVA glue very easily uh, and then if you wanted, um, uh, for curtain, I've, I've got a, an old net curtain that I cut up for such uh, circumstances and put that behind. That just glues easily behind there. And then that will sit in there like so. So that's as good a window as, uh, as any. Uh, perfect for 135 scale. I wouldn't want to attempt it. wouldn't Wouldn't want to attempt it for double O or H O scale. Just a, would be a little bit too small. But uh, that, that's uh, obviously paint paint the uh, the frame white or whatever colour you wanted. So that's how I do my windows. Um, people have been saying I'm, I'm going to do this, and I go away and do it, and I don't show you how I do it. So. Uh, that's how I do all my windows. When I did the um, 
Hill Valley uh, courthouse from uh, um, Back to the Future. Uh, there are all those windows there. I think there are 17 windows in all. And they all had to be cut out um, very, very small and then glazed behind. So and that was that was a long job, but it was um, it's, it's doable. And then the windows in the factory that I made a few days ago, uh, all this uh, shape of uh, half moon windows up there. It's all the same principle. Just cut two, two millimeter cardboard, whatever shape you want, paint it and uh, glaze it. And the small ones at the top there. Okay, so that's my window making effort. Oh, it's all fallen to bits now. <laughs> it would be so much better if I glued it. Let's uh, try again. No, it's not going to go. Yep, there we go. And close the curtains. There we are. Okay, thank you very much again for watching this very short video. I uh, hope you've uh, gained something from watching. Uh, have a go yourself when you're making your models. Um, in the meantime, thank you very much for watching again. Uh, please subscribe and uh, happy modelling. <laughs>